Hello everyone and welcome. I'm playing uh, Tribe Heavy Lies the Crown. Let's play. So this is a They're rather balanced. Okay. Let's go with Okay, this is default. Let's confirm. Try Heavy Lines to Crown is a work in progress. Yeah, this game is in close to beta if I'm not mistaken. And this is a small snapshot of what they are planning to release. It's natural. Okay, two months since the fall of Aldamor, since he gathered the survivors and set out for a new home. All right. Um, in the end, if you alone must set the tone for your rule, where do you interest lies? Where wisdom is grown, little far remains, where rise for vigilance, <coughs> scars for unbroken, prosperity pursuit ensures a beautiful prosperity. This is what I want. Would you like to play the tutorial? I believe so. Okay, we move. This is the caravan. And we must deploy it. All right. This is the keep. Let's play it. Place it. There you go. And now my workers are doing the job. Great. So we have a few objectives that will help us um, through the game. Basically, the first thing you need to build is the keep, which is 11% built. We do have the option to speed up things. That's better. That's going to save us some time. Fifty two percent. And it's finished. The next step should be that of research gathering and management. We should build a primitive stockpile to house what we collect. I can find them in the build menu. Okay. A primitive stockpile. Let's build it. We do have roads. Dirt road bridge. Oh, so this is the road. Okay. So the buildings are, the buildings have a road implemented right from the start. Various structures have an area of influence. This is indicated by a colorated border. Oh, okay, interesting. Build a logger camp near the trees to send workers to gather logs. Build a quarry, okay. There you go. And now we need a quarry. But where is stone? Oh, that's not. So if we zoom out, we can actually see the other regions. Nice. I think there is room for expansion.
Where is the quarry? Space occupied. Okay. I don't think it has resources. To manual to manually adjust the area of influence. Where am I supposed to place the quarry, to be honest? Is this the stone I can collect? It looks like it, yes. Okay. And there is no road, by the way. Yep, that's the stone. And I had stone nearby. Try now to select one of your camps, adjust the slider within the interface. They want me to adjust the slider. Okay, with our building supply secured, we can now shift our focus to two of life necessities, food and water. Construct food storage in a central location of the settlement. This will ensure all current and future residents within an area of influence have access. Right, I placed it there. I have stone and wood. We still need a few more stone. There you go. And now the building process begins. This is how it looks. So without dirt roads, your citizens will struggle to successfully deliver their goods. Okay. I need a well. For water. There you go. Okay, Act 1 settling in. So the foundation of my settlement is done. Cancel our body, Declan. Sir Ocean Highward. Oh, okay. These are some conversations. Safety first, above all else.
Okay. The houses, the farmhouses are getting built. <coughs> this is how the food storage looks like. Is this out of stone? No. It's not out of stone. But I think it's taking them longer to deliver the, the goods this far. Yeah, I need stone. And I think that's a problem. I should build another quarry over here. I don't think I have enough people though. <laughs> oh, I can only build one quarry. Okay. So the first quarry that I built, I was so lucky that I built it and there wasn't even a drop of stone in the area. They are working hard for my own benefit and their own security. Next, let's explore the housing interface. Okay. Let's see. So building health, residence happiness level, any active effects of the house and additional information is tracked in this section of the interface. So if the building is damaged by fire, the health of the house will drop. Attacks or revolts. Okay. The residents of home are displayed here. There is a maximum of four residents per farmer house. The events that are affecting the house are displayed here. And what they need for happiness. They need firewood, I guess. Fulfilling your people's needs will directly affect their happiness. Nice. Okay, now that we have provided housing, we should ensure our people have another one of their critical need met. Firewood. Good. And I think now that I have enough houses, um, I will be able to get more people Now we can select how many builders do we want. Okay, own province. So the workers are per province. I can own multiple provinces. 
basically I can start over a city. Okay. I need, I think I need to assign people to my wood. Okay. Okay, producing firewood, there is a little problem though. Which I don't understand. They don't have road or what? Yeah, the road was the problem. Good. And now they're getting resources and they produce firewood. And the firewood can be delivered to the houses. So, notable buildings in the territory, tax rate 5%, territory is spotless. That's good. Okay, collect 30 firewood. Act 1. Oh, okay. Your Majesty, the farmers are wary. They fear the soil in this new land is not keen for growth. Chancellor Dickon, we have traveled into Nismore. Many of its fields were lush and abundant. Such flora can't arise from spoiled earth. Still, the farmers are struggling. It is possible that the locals have knowledge or skills unknown to us. How different can things truly be here? But I'm no farmer and growing crops is essential to our survival. We may be able to study the land through, though that could take a bit, or find someone local with greater understanding. We've already lost so much time. We're uh, suggesting we lose more to research. Perhaps it will be wise to secure a farmer who knows these lands. Do you think it's possible? I believe it's entirely possible, Highness, without a right to scout an offer. Their knowledge will provide available to us, I, I have no doubt. I can be gained outweighs in the potential risk. Is it a risk to be certain, but I trust your judgment, Counselor? Okay. I appreciate the okay. Apple orchards. It's too big. What? Food generation at your farm says, okay. Apple farms, okay.
the logger camp barely has any workers oh I've got a few more nice and now I have workers everywhere do I have homeless people no I have a lot of unoccupied space in the houses farmer house Okay, construct one apple orchard and collect 30 apples. I built three apple orchards and I need to collect the 30 apples. What is it trying to say to me? With that box, what does it mean? There's not enough room or what? Or is it... Or is the food storage too far away? I don't have any. Well, I have unemployed people. Oh. Food generation in France has increased by 50% for the next five days. Okay, and where do I store the food? Prioritize deliveries. I've got no builders. Don't you realize this? So you're telling me I need to build another primitive stockpile around here? It's very weird, honestly. I can't expand as much as I want, I need storage. Up to a point I understand. So I need one storage here, another one here. That's not cool. Honestly. This is not cool. I'm out of food. If I don't collect food right away, I'm done. Bring the wood. And now bring the stone. I could use a few more people. 
My apple orchards do need a lot of uh, workers. Let's take everything bit by bit. There are still some houses, unoccupied houses. I could use another well, I think. Uh, buildings located within this area are influenced. I've got the apples and I'm fulfilling their needs. Conversation. Ruler, speak plainly, Ocean. What do you make of the scene? I have nothing like it. I have seen nothing like it before. Whoever conducted this ritual must be from these lands. There were unusual symbols on the walls of the main room, centered around the altar. Upon the altar, the remains of three animals, their hearts pulled from them missing. Encircling these corpses, those crystals, the ones that spring up around the province. Mm, curious, I'd like to know more. Okay, what? Yes, like these found in the fields, medium well. They spring up in all manner of places and it's more. Nothing like them ever existed in Aldamore. These are the magenta ones, those that seem to confuse to cause confusion and light headedness when nearby. The very same at their core. There appeared to be movement. It reminded me uh, of that ill fog that fate that fateful day. Perhaps the council lord should look into this if anyone could learn more about them. It would be him. Okay, the dialogue takes a lot of... Okay. More houses. More likely more people. Nice. So this is day nine. wonder I need the primitive stockpile okay so this is a primitive stockpile but I think there will be bigger stockpiles there are plenty of other buildings available let's go the workforce Find the hemp farm.
Okay. Let's build a hemp farm. 46, okay. We must harvest 50 hemp. The hemp is growing. Build an outfitter. Also a lumber yard. Oh, nice. I have access to new buildings now. I should build all these, right? I have 13 unemployed people. Wood chopper. Okay. Lumber yard. And the pork ranch. First of all, let's build a medium stockpile primitive stockpile actually even worse Fire. Extinguish it, please. Oh, now I see the purpose of the wells. And the fire is extinguished, but the houses took some damage and they need repair. <sighs> Clothes are being made.
I built a fermenter and I need to a cider. Where do I collect cider from? From hemp, I wonder. What do you need? Lloyd. It allows me what they produce. We need the laborer's house. Okay, and we need a tavern. I think I should place the tavern over here.
How can I demolish something I didn't build, right? Oh, look. Okay, let's build a tavern over here. Nice. Good. Great. Pork ranch. I wanted the pork ranch. So, besides from rope, I have all the resources. How do I get rope? That's the question. Raiders hot. Yeah, but I also need rope to build it. Fishing dock. I don't have access to any water. The laborer's house will be finished rather soon. Outfitter. So I have two outfitters. Let's destroy one of them. Craftsman produces resources that are sensitive to various production items. Luxury goods. Let's get a craftsman. The cookhouse produces meal meals. Construct a tavern. This is the tavern. Let's prioritize it. Okay. They advise me caution. No magic or rather, okay. They're all happy. I have a hundred. Okay. Seventy unemployed people. hundred and sixty planks for the tavern houses are on fire someone is messing with me everything is on fire almost
They need road access. Two more houses have problems with fire. Come on, are you finishing it? You do have all the resources required. Rope. I have no idea how to get that rope. Rope 50. So I think they can produce rope, but I simply don't have access to it. Oh, the craftsman produces rope. Come on, craftsman. Start produ the production. Having 82 unemployed people and the craftsman doesn't have enough men. Labor production. Okay, I think I need more laborers' houses. I have to construct five laborers' houses. Now it makes sense. makes sense well guys i'm gonna stop here thank you very much for watching make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video don't forget that g2a is my official sponsor if you're planning to buy games cheaper now i think that's the place to be link in the description thank you very much bye